very honorable dignitaries, uh, loving parents, dear colleagues, and my dear children. Today, 21st March 2022. On this day, we celebrate World Poetry Day. Very celebrating a linguistic expression that people from all cultures can add in. Poetry can be found in the history of a very nation and brings us together and share values and common humanity. The most basic of forms have the power to strip dialogue. Poetry is a beautiful form of expression. Now other type of literature creates such a plethora of feelings and emotions as an abstraction of it. For me as Raja Research School, this is an important thing. Raja School is a different language department, English, Malayalam, Arabic and Hindi. They join together and celebrate this day with the great of Manusha. Children participate, reside in the poems, introducing the poets, bodies, etc. Such a day, such a way. They try to create this day really grand. When we talk about this day more, poetry uses rhythms and energy to elicit the emotion and the imagination of the reader. We believe the first one of our age around 4,000 years ago in Babylon. Today, countless types of forms are available to ensure you including haikas, a Japanese form of poetry, limericks, a poem that consists of five lines with a single stanza, sonnets, form of holy lines, and ballads, popular narrative songs, passed down orderly. This day is very important for us because poems are for everyone. Sometimes people are hesitant to try our poetry, thinking it can be heard to understand. But I love you. There's a poem out there for you as poetry servants. Coming to the new generation of poetry lovers, on World Poetry Day, it is and classrooms around the world take time to celebrate poems and poets and get their students excited about the right stuff. Poetic competitions, poetic slams, and readings are held to learn to know and emerging poets track out their world and showcase their talents. Poets, both past and present, are all age and all traditions of Zion poetry are revived. Reading, writing, and teaching poetry are encouraged and converted the mediums and expressions such as music, dance, painting, and more. With all these activities, we make this thing very colorful, magnificent, and enthusiastic. Nothing else more I should say now. I wish each and everyone a wonderful day and also celebrate this poetry. Great for function and also low and low of enthusiasm. Thank you. A very pleasant day to all. I am Alicia Sajid and I'm here to recite a poem. May 1972 by James Shuler Soft May mists are here again There the war goes on Besides the privet The creamy white tulips are extra fine this year There 
foliage curls blackened back. It will, it must return. But when? A cardinal enchants me with its song. All war is wrong. The grass here is green and buttoned down with dandelions. A car goes by. What peace? It, the war, goes on. Fleeing people. The parrot tulips looked like twisted guts. Blood on green. Here, a silent scream. Can we, in simple justice, desert our salt allies? Draw out. I do not know. I know the war is wrong. We have it in us to triumph over hate and death or so. The suburban spring suggests. Here the drive is wet with mist. There the war goes on. Children are more valuable than flowers. What a choice to make. The war must end. It goes on. Thank you. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very turf, but still, like dirt, I rise. And still I write is Other Maya Angel's third volume of poetry published by Random House in the year of 1978. And Still I Rise is an empowering anthem. It's about the struggle to overcome the injustice and prejudice. And Still I Rise is an empowering poem about the struggle to overcome the prejudice and injustice. It's bringing a hope those who are oppressed and discriminated against. Literally, this is the best poem that have ever happened or ever written in the history of mankind. It's primarily about self-respect and confidence. And Still I Rise is an inspiring and emotional poem that's based around Maya Angelou's experience as a black woman in America. Through this poem, she tries to pray through the shackles of domination and raise her voice to say that she and her people are no longer mute. They have got their voice to proclaim their rights. A poem is first and foremost an expression of emotion. You have to engage your feelings when you read a poem. 
or you haven't read a poem. It does a formal dance around the feelings. So get into the poems and let your emotions fly. Thank you. السلام علیکم رسائی یہی جل قلوب الحنا لزہر تفوتو ریاہ الفنا فتسری بشیر فتحزی ننا فتبدو بوجہ بیالامنا وجو فی یزلزیل محساتوہا بی تصویر حزن بی اجوافنا و ایامہا فی جناہ سرور تطویر حرورا علا جوینا فتجنی سمارا بی ایامہا بعلم و حلم تلاہی رنا و آمالها فی نشاط بحید کموح علیم لبحر دنا فکم من فراش زمیلاتها و من حولها بن ملاہی رنا فَتُبْنِ الْحَبِيبَاتُ مِنْ بَيْنِهَا بِأَهْلَامِهَا فِي سَبَائِنْ دَنَا وَآبَاؤُهَا فِي بِنَائِ رَجَا كَأَهْرَابِ مِصْرَا تَفُوقُوهُنَا وَأَحْبَابُهَا فِي فِنَائِ الْفَصِيحِ وَتَجْرِي بِحَبْلًا دَنِيًا جَنَا آیَا هِي بَتِي فِيكَ مِنَّ الْعَدَى دُعَانْ بِخَلْبٍ يَدُومُ بِنَا شکرن नमस्कार आज मैं आपकी सामने हिंदी साहित्य जगत के उपत्ति कवि रामधारी सिंह दिनकर के कविता किसको नमन करूं मैं भारत प्रस्तुत करने जा रही हूं तुझको या तेरे निदेश गिरी वन को नमन करूं मैं मेरे प्यारे देश देह या मन को नमन करूं मैं किसको नमन करूं मैं भारत किसको नमन करूं भारत नहीं स्थान का वाचक गुण विशेष नर का है एक देश का नहीं शील यह भूमंडल बर का है जहाँ कहीं एकता अगंडत जहाँ प्रेम का स्वर है देश देश में वहाँ खड़ा भारत जीवित भास्वर है निगल विश्व को की जन्म भूमि वदन को नमन करूँ मैं किसको नमन करूँ मैं भारत किसको नमन करूँ उड़े जहाँ भी घोष शांति का भारत का स्वर तेरा है धर्म दीप को जिसका भी कर में वह नर तेरा है तेरा है वह वीर सत्य पर जो अड़ने जाते हैं किसी न्याय के लिए अपने जीवन अर्पित करने जाते हैं मानवता की इस लटाट चंदन को नमन करूं मैं किसको नमन करूं मैं भारत किसको नमन करूं धन्यवाद और अच्छी दिन की शुभकामनाएं